Welcome to part two of my Writer Zen tutorial, helping you create content that ranks in Google. In video one, I covered topical authority and I created a topic map, also known as a topic cluster, using Writer Zen's topic discovery tool. Now I'm ready for step two, which is keyword research. And Writer Zen's approach to keyword research is hands down the best I've seen on any SEO tool. If you haven't seen this before, prepare to be blown away. You'll find timestamps in the description below this video. Let's do this. As I mentioned in video one, in the early days of the web, it was all about the keyword. We used to say write for search engines. And this is why you used to find pages which made no grammatical sense. And no, none of those were mine. Then as Google evolved, those pages started dropping like flies. And the new slogan became write for humans, not search engines. And that worked for a short while. But today this is wrong very very wrong google is the ecosystem where supply and demand exist but google is also the referee which means that you need to convince google first of your expertise before you even get a shot at competing for that search volume and google is not searching around for stuff so there are no keywords you can use and that's precisely why you don't begin an seo campaign with keyword research the way you convince google about your expertise is by demonstrating expertise on the topic this is what's known as topical authority so you need to write for google first then for humans so now that we have our topic map which i created in video one we know the topics we need to target in order to demonstrate expertise to Google. So now it's time to find out what keywords to target for each topic. And by the way, if you still haven't watched video one, then pause this video, watch video one first, so that this all makes sense. In the keyword discovery screen, type the topic you want to target as your keyword. In this case, I'm going to type intermittent fasting as my keyword. Set the location and language and ignore for now the golden filter and cluster function. We'll get to those later. Hit search and wait for the results. In the bottom window, you'll see the keyword data showing you trends, search volume and word count, among other things. And in case you're wondering, WriterZen gets its keyword data straight from Google's API. It doesn't use its own proprietary algorithm and a gazillion data points like some tools do. It just gets it from Google. You can see there are almost 5,000 results and that's a total combined search volume of over two and a half a million searches. You also have a SERP view window where you can see the top competing pages and a handy bunch of metrics such as backlinks and referring domains. In my original Writer's End review, I talked about the thought and attention to detail that's gone into the brilliant design behind each section. There's a lot of data here, but the presentation, the design makes it all very intuitive and it doesn't interrupt your flow. So let's scroll back down to our keyword data and let me show you why this tool is so brilliant and unique. Let's start with the filters. You can include and exclude any word you like to filter out keywords you don't want to target. For example, you might want to exclude the words free, PDF and download from your results. You can also filter volumes. For example, you may want to avoid keywords with very little search volume. Count enables you to filter out keyword phrases by number of words. Generally, single word keywords are going to be much harder to rank for than longer phrases. You can also click on a keyword and access all the relevant metrics from keyword difficulty through to the last 12 months worth of search volume data broken down month by month. This is great data. It lets you know very quickly whether a keyword is in decline. The last thing you want to do is spend a lot of time and effort on a keyword that's actually trending down. Click and add any keywords you want to target to a list or a group of keywords. What you've seen so far in video one and this video should have you convinced by now that this is the only SEO tool you need. And we're just getting started. Watch this. Writer Zen has a very unique feature called Golden Filter. Click the Golden Filter button and Writer Zen will display the all entitled results and Writer Zen's golden score. All entitled is a Google search operator you can apply to any search to actually see how many pages actually have your keyword in the title. That's really a true measure of how many real competitors you actually have. With this feature on, I can click all entitled and filter out the number of competitors by any criteria I choose. Let's find out what keywords have only a maximum of nine direct competitors. You can see here that there is only one page that contains the keyword intermittent fasting rules in the title. And there are 5,400 searches per month for this keyword. This is powerful. You can see that there are over 1,000 keywords that have no more than nine competing pages with the keyword in the title. That's 300,000 searches per month for all those keywords combined. 
Intermittent fasting and coffee has zero results and 880 searches per month. Now, these keywords are a perfect starting point for a website that has little to no authority on this topic because you're not really going to rank anytime soon for more competitive keywords for this topic. Now, if you do have some authority, you may want to target more competitive keywords. But how do you know where the cutoff point is? That's where the golden filter comes in. This powerhouse of a feature enables you to very quickly sort out through thousands of keywords into one of four groups, which Writer Zen defines as Decay Zone, Mature Zone, Opportunity Zone, and Candy Land Zone. These four zones show you which keywords you should target and which keywords you should avoid, depending on how much authority your site has. Make no mistake, this is pure gold. In Writer's End, click Golden Score and set the results you want to see by ranking probability or by value. If you're starting out with little or no authority, I suggest you rank by probability. Use the SERPs position slider to set the all entitled results. If I move it to one, I can see in real time the number of keywords that have a maximum of one result. These are the keywords you can rank for faster and with the most ease. This is the opportunity zone. If I move the slider to 10, I can see the numbers change for a total search volume of over 290,000. And these keywords are still relatively easy to rank for. If your site already has topical authority or you're more confident in your ability, you can switch to ranking by value. Here you'll see more competitive keywords that have a greater search volume. These are mature zone keywords that you will eventually need to target, not necessarily to rank for in the short term, but to show Google your expertise. There is a lot more cool stuff in this dashboard like insights, which helps you group keywords into a specific mindset with more filtering options like propositions and comparisons and the clustering function for the more savvy SEOs. To keep things simple, let me show you how to use the golden filter in practical terms. Rank by probability, set the slider to one and hit apply. These are the low hanging fruit or the opportunity zone keywords. Select all and export to an Excel sheet if you prefer to work that way or add to a keyword list that you can then import into your document in the final step of this process. I'm going to add it to a new list called intermittent fasting opportunity zone keywords. Click add and you're done. Now you have over 400 easy to rank for keywords to target. The next and final step is to create your optimized content. And this is where we bring it all together. Click the video on your screen and I'll see you in a moment.